tell you right now. It's a little awkward standing up here because when I pitched the movie to Donna Langley, it was like two, three years ago, I had no idea that it was a dead genre. People have been whispering about it at, uh, you know, like quiet tables at the Soho House, and now they're just blasting it on the front covers of the trades. People don't go to the movies for comedy anymore. Theatrical comedy, studio comedies, it's dead. I called James Lopez, my producer partner. Where you at, JL? I called James, I said, James, we in trouble, brother. I said, before the premiere tonight, I know that's Tiffany Haddish's crew up there making all that noise. Yeah. That's who had the Hennessy before the screen. You can always tell whose first movie premiere it is. <laughs> I called James, I said, let's re-edit the movie before the premiere. <coughs> True story. We tried to re-edit Girls Trip as a horror movie. I, I changed the score. I put Blumhouse in the opening credits. I replaced, replaced Malcolm Lee's name with Jordan Peele. It didn't quite work. Some of the scenes work. I'm going to tell you now, you're about to see something terrifying with the grapefruit in a few minutes. That much. I'll give you a little hint. It didn't work. I called Peter Kramer. I said, Kramer, let's cut our losses, man. Let's release this thing to VOD. Nobody's going to the movies to see comedy anymore. Peter Kramer, to his credit, he said, listen, no way, Will. He looked me in the eye. He said, let's just do it, man, and be legends. <laughs> Google that phrase when you get that call. I am cautiously optimistic about this movie, y'all. I'm going to tell you right now, we're trying to do the impossible. We're trying to make a movie work in an environment these movies really aren't working anymore. But if there is any team out there that can do the impossible, that would be fearless when it comes to releasing a movie like this, I got that team down. Help me right now warmly welcome and acknowledge my partner in crime, James Lopez. Help me produce this movie. Help me acknowledge the team keep going from Universal Pictures. Uncle Ronnie Meyer is in the building, the Don Uncle Ron. Uncle Jimmy Horowitz is in the building. I haven't seen her, but she is the queen, Donna Langley. I pissed Donna this movie, she said, damn it, let's do it. And she literally said that. My other partner in crime, Mr. Peter Kramer. Give it up for Peter Kramer. Our tireless executive on this, Sarah Scott. The team that is tasked with making this movie work, that if for whatever reason it doesn't work, we're going to blame them. The best marketing team in the business, led by Josh Goldstein and Michael Moses, the marketing team at Universal, Fabian Castro, Jennifer Lopez, Ana Zafrani, too many people to name, but you guys have been giving your all. I thank you so, so very much. This has been a labor of love. It has been over three years in the making, and now it is finally here. Without further ado, I want you to give your warmest welcome to the brains, to the heart, to the soul, to the guy that told me on Monday, he said, Will, I don't make movies for critics. I don't care what critics think. I don't want to hear what critics say. I make movies for real people. He told me that on Monday. 
Same brother called me this morning and said, have you seen our fucking Rotten Tomatoes scores? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Malcolm D. Lee! <laughs> This is the night. Um, I'm very honored to be here uh, and show you this movie. Um, I want to uh, acknowledge some people as well. Uh, I really want to thank um, Jeff Shell, Donna Langley, Peter Kramer, Sarah Scott for being incredibly supportive of the vision that Will and I have for this movie. Will came to me three years ago, as he said, and you know, he said, "Hey, let's do a movie where we switch the paradigm of men behaving badly and do it with black." women. And I said, yo, 100%, I'm down, I'm in, where do we start? And, oh, there she goes, AD 1.5, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. Um, I, I also want to thank Josh Goldstein, uh, Michael Lewis, Jennifer Lopez, the best marketing team in the business. Uh, and the, the, the efforts are really paying off. I mean, the, the word is out on the street, and you all in this room are going to help us get the word out. Uh, I'm not saying you're, you're for teachers because I directed this. I don't do this alone. I want to say that it's a fun ride for women, particularly black women. We made this movie for you. It was about time for the, for that, that y'all received the big screen treatment. And we hope, we hope we delivered for you. Um, so I do want to uh, acknowledge Will the Thrill Packer. James Lopez, Preston Holmes, my producing partners. Uh, I want to thank some of the people that in the room tonight. Uh, second unit director, Anthony Hemingway. Now, he has no business being a second unit director because he's a director in his own right, but he came down and helped me, helped me out. First AD, Stephen Hagen. Costume designer, Danielle Hollowell, our eighth collaboration. Uh, DP, Greg Gardner, our fourth collaboration. Cast directors, Mary Vernu, Michelle Wade Bird, and the ladies of Betty May, smart, gorgeous women who find the talent and they feed you. Yeah, also, so it's, uh, I love them. Uh, composer, David Newman, our second collaboration. David came in and really did a stellar job. Um, so uh, thank you, David. Uh, editor, the key to a great comedy is your editor, Paul Mills Paul. This is our sixth collaboration and he never laughs. We always do comedies, he never laughs in the room. I'm like, Paul, is it funny? Yeah, yeah, it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> There's also laugh, man. So, uh, now I also want to talk to you about, you know, we do nothing without our writers, Eric Rivanoia, Kenya Barris, Tracy Oliver, who delivered on the humor and the heart, so thank you guys. To the cameos who are here, Terry McMillan, Ian Van Sand, the world's greatest entertainer, Dougie Fresh, my man Morris Chestnut, and our cast, our cast. I start with Miss Lara Rice. Then I want to talk about Hollywood's newest sexual chocolate, Kofi Sirabo. Kofi, where you at? Kofi, you can't hide no longer, man. It's, it's, it's over, man. The, the, the anonymity is done, brother. Um, yes, with your fine self, the woman said in the beginning. Of the day. I didn't even know this woman was funny, Miss Kate Walsh. In the building. Uh, the big fella, TV's Luke Cage, Mr. Mike Coulter. I call this next dude a motherfucking pro, Lorenz Tate. I think he's part vampire and there are ages. And now for my flossy posse, the four women up on that screen right there. First, I want to talk about my leading lady from the moment. I took her off that stripper pole. I said, you ain't about this life no more, okay? Come and act in movies, you can do this. Regina has been the best friend. She's been the wife. She's been the, 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 the sassy black, uh, black girl. But now it's time for her to be a leading lady and she's always gonna be my little cherub, Miss Regina Hall. Next up, now listen, listen, if you don't know her name, you're going to know it after the night, damn it. The last black unicorn, okay, 
<laughs> now, this next lady, I, I've written a number of things for her. She's always said no to me. Until she finally, after meeting me in my office in the Bronx in a onesie, she said, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So, uh, Miss Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> from Baltimore. From Baltimore. Be more careful. And then... Finally, I'm going to tell you, this woman is so special and unique as her name. She's straight out of Jersey. The queen is hyped up. Dana Owens. The queen. My diva. They are, they are the Flossy Posse, okay? You're going to be all about to see. And I've been saying from the beginning, y'all ain't ready. I don't think y'all are ready. Will, do you think they're ready? Definitely not. I don't think y'all are ready. Are you ready? We ready. What about at the top? Y'all ready at the top? We ready at the top? All right. All right. Let's do this. All right. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. Enjoy the film.